Hey, what's up, folks? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. So, a couple of months back, we featured the Omen X PC on this channel, and it was certainly a unique looking PC that had a lot of powerful features both inside and out. The only issue was the overall size and form factor. May not be ideal for people working in smaller uh, desktop spaces where they simply can't fit a large uh, tower like that on their desk. Well, this over here is a great alternative. This is the HP Omen desktop, and it features many of the high end components found inside the Omen X such as uh, the uh, Core i7-7700 processor and you can outfit it with a fairly powerful GPU. We have the GTX 1070 in this case. Accompanying the tower PC we have the Omen 27 inch G-Sync enabled Quad HD monitor. This has a, an effective uh, refresh rate of up to 165 hertz and a response time of about 1.8 milliseconds gray to gray. So it's a competitive grade, a monitor great for first person shooters or anybody looking to have a tear free experience uh, perfect for uh, many hardcore enthusiasts out there. Now coming back to the Omen desktop tower in terms of physical dimensions it measures around 40 centimeters in terms of height 42 centimeters in terms of width and about 16 and a half centimeters in terms of depth so it's kind of classified as a mid ITX uh, style case so it's pretty much perfect for most people out there that may have some size restrictions you can certainly put it on top of your desk alongside your mouse, keyboard, and monitor and have a uh, little issues when it comes to room, obviously depending upon the size of your desk, of course. As far as the design of the tower goes, it's a fairly neutral looking design and you're not going to find any huge issues with it, generally speaking. At the front of the tower, you're going to see a brushed aluminum type finish and there's an LED RGB light strip running across from the top and bottom and that is 100% configurable up to 16.8 million colors with a whole bunch bunch of different color combinations and illumination options. You can even uh, match up the LED light strip to see how much your CPU is being taxed or even the uh, CPU temperature, which is pretty cool. At the center of that light strip, you have an optical drive. Uh, it's a DVD-based optical drive if you need one. The tower itself also features a 7-in-1 card reader, which is always handy to have. Now, under the hood, uh, we're looking at a Core i7-7700 processor. It's not the K version so it's a uh, factory clocked around 3.6 gigahertz and it can turbo up to 4.2 gigahertz it is a quad core with eight threads because it is hyper threaded enabled eight megabytes of a level three cache we have 16 gigabytes of ddr4 installed in this system and a 256 gigabyte uh, ssd drive and a uh, two terabyte mechanical storage drive for all your long-term storage we also do have integrated wireless Bluetooth and 802.11 AC slash and Wi-Fi as well. As far as some of the basic performance results uh, on Cinebench, we got a uh, CPU score rating about 861 points. Fairly good for a stock speed 7700 processor. And the SSD drive got a sequential uh, read speed about 532 megabytes a second and write speed of about 511 megabytes per second. Again, these speeds are uh, pretty much on average. Uh, certainly, if you want to get faster, read and write sequential speeds you can obviously upgrade to a faster uh, ssd a platform that what comes stock with this pc but definitely not bad for a starter kit in terms of uh, some of the gaming performance i uh, took a look at the time spy uh, results over here which is about 5,386. Obviously, if you decide to overclock your GTX at 1070, you can probably get a little bit faster results, but generally definitely not bad for playing quad HD gaming or even doing a little bit of 4K in the future. And certainly this uh, platform is more than capable of uh, really cranking out some excellent VR content if you're going to get into that as well. So definitely not a bad gaming PC by any stretch of the imagination. Now, another Another cool thing is we got to test out some of the Omen accessories, including uh, the uh, Omen 800 series headset, which uh, contains a 53 millimeter uh, driver inside, which does a good job of reproducing a lot of the lower end frequencies. Some of the mid-tone frequencies and even the high end frequency are not as stellar as I would like it to be, but uh, definitely uh, nothing too harsh to complain about. It also does have a multi-dimensional audio switch, so you can turn that on and kind of heighten the surround sound experience built into the 
the headphones. It's fairly lightweight and comfortable uh, to wear on your head. Uh, it also has some large leather wrapped ear caps, which are great for kind of blocking in any external noises. And obviously, like many of the Steel Series headsets, it has a retractable microphone, which is always handy for team speak and things like that. Now, lastly, we have the uh, mechanical keyboard and mouse from Omen. The keyboard is using a blue mechanical switches. I'm not sure if they're from Cherry MX, but they feel very, very similar. Super responsive and have over a 50 million keystroke lifespan. Uh, the keyboard also features many of the good things you would find in good mechanical gaming keyboards, such as N-key rollover and all the anti-ghosting properties uh, you would find. It's also illuminated, which is always a nice thing in the dark. Now, this Omen mouse is a little bit different than the one I encountered uh, last time. Feels definitely a little bit more ergonomically friendly in the hand. Uh, definitely very comfortable to use. The optical sensor uh, built inside has a fairly broad a DPI rating all the way from 800 to 12,000. So it's perfect for any type of gamer out there, whether you like high sensitivity, low sensitivity, medium sensitivity. Uh, it's also weight adjustable. So there's three weights at the back of the mouse and you can kind of adjust the weight distribution or take out the weights depending upon how heavy or light you want your mouse to feel like. Uh, additionally, the uh, Omen HP 300 mouse pad is a great companion piece to the 600 mouse, has a nice non-slip uh, rubber base, very smooth cloth surface, uh, great for precision tracking and it feels awesome using with the mouse itself and plus you have the Omen logo so everything is matched and oriented towards each other completing the whole Omen uh, gaming experience. So uh, definitely a cool setup, something you can obviously change later down the road in terms of internal components, upgrading the graphics cards, getting more RAM and things like that. But as a kind of mid-range gaming PC, I think it definitely meets pretty much most people's standards. So definitely check out the Omen a desktop PC alongside many of the Omen accessories we talked about. Check out the description down below if you want more detailed information about everything we talked about. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this content and we will see you very, very soon in the next video.